So hi dear Aries, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general love reading for all the Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, thing the roles can be reversed also. The third thing, this is a reading from 13 till the 19th of May. And this is valid for every 12 sign that you are dealing with along with your own sign. If it is not resonating, it's not your story. You can just skip the video. Okay, if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. If you want to start uh, your self-healing journey with Ho'oponopono but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my masterclass. It's super easy to understand and it's uh, like uh, it has a power to change your life for the rest of your life. Trust me on that. I'm doing it from a very long time now. And if you want one-on-one -on -one healing sessions or personal readings, you can check out the description box and you can mail me for the same. So let's start. Okay, so Aries, your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now at this present moment are, let's see what's happening. Hanged man. Someone is kind of feeling stuck on the situation. Okay, there is a, there is this there is this there is this energy of okay trying to see things from a different perspective, trying to understand energies from a different perspective. I think uh, there is a energy of uh, not being together kind of a deal, but this person is still kind of stuck on you energetically. Okay, let's clarify the hanged man as their feelings for you. We have the King of Wands, the Devil and the Sun card. Okay. See, one, one thing is for sure. This person got this clarity that this situation between you and them is quite unhealthy. Right? This connection is unhealthy. So whenever they think about you, uh, whenever they think about this whole situation, they feel like uh, there is a lot of attraction, there is a lot of passion, there is uh, even codependency kind of energy or addiction kind of energy between you guys. But when it comes to the true happiness kind of feeling, true relationship kind of a feeling, that is kind of missing out of this situation. So now this person is kind of able to recognize their patterns, their uh, not so good energies regarding the situation. Now this person is getting the clarity, gaining the clarity about the situation, like a lot of clarity when they are trying to just... Uh, uh, stay still and uh, see things from a different perspective now they are able to see everything very very clearly in this situation good energies bad energies not so good not so healthy unhealthy everything right now this person's perception and energies towards this situation is changing yeah although i do see this uh, although i do see this person detaching uh, trying to walk away from the situation but at the same time they are able to understand what is uh, like what they did wrong in the situation what went wrong in the situation and what they can do about it like in the coming future might be but right now they feel like okay physically walking away energetically still stuck on you and understanding the patterns and the energies and the, the cycle of repetitive cycle of their relationships and uh, including this relationship hmm? let's see what do you feel about this particular person or a situation from your side aries two of pentacles you're going back and forth back and forth about it one day you are like okay i don't want this person i i don't uh, want to deal with this energy Another day you are like, okay, I have to come back to this. There's something still un unfinished in the situation. So the, you are going back and forth. You are quite confused uh, energetically. I think uh, you are still very much into this energy of I want it. I don't want it. I want it. I don't want it. Hmm? Okay, let's clarify the two of pentacles as your feelings for this particular person or situation. We have the six of cups, the ace of cups and the ten of wands. See, you still have uh, emotions. You still carry a lot of love for this particular person and situation. This is a soul connection kind of a deal. But this connection, this situation is so stressful that you feel like, okay, you should just stay away. Then again, you are like, okay, I should, uh, you know, uh, go in that direction. Then you are pulling your energies back. So it's like a back and forth kind of energy when it comes to this connection, this situation. Definitely, you still have feelings. Definitely, you still care for this particular person and situation. But this is too stressful to deal with. So you are like, okay, let me just pull back my energy. So push and pull push and pull kind of energy from your side is seen right right so you are kind of in this energy of being in the surrender mode and seeing where things can go in the near future let's see what this person wants from you what are their intentions for the situation between you and them aries eight of wands this person wants to talk to you this person wants to have back and forth communication with you if there is no communication or lack of communication or some kind of miscommunication is going on, I think this person wants to clear the air with you in some way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's clarify the eight of wands.
We have the four of wands and the king of cups and the eight of cups. Wow. This person wants to talk to you about the future. This person feels like talking to you about the future direction of this connection between you and them. And they want to tell you why they are detaching emotionally and why they want to get out of the situation emotionally. At the same time, they want to give you a clear cut picture of the future. Clear cut understanding of the future direction of the situation between you and them. At the same time, they want to detach from the situation emotionally. Okay. I, it's not making any sense to me. Might be it's going to make sense to you. But this person wants to talk to you about the future direction of the situation, about commitment, long-term partnership and or marriage. At the same time, they want to tell you why they are detaching emotionally or why they can't give you what you really want out of this situation or whatever. But this person definitely wants to talk to you, clear the air with you regarding the future direction of the situation. Right? And this is a burdensome kind of energy that they're carrying around and they want to release that energy by talking it out, by, you know, clearing the air with you. Let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation from your side. Two of Cups. I think you just want to give this uh, uh, situation another shot, another chance. I, uh, you still have lots of emotion. You still carry a lot of uh, caring and nurturing kind of energies toward the situation. So definitely I think you are in this energy of, okay, let me give it another chance or another shot. Let's clarify the Two of Cups. You want to let go of your ego, Aries, and you definitely want to have some something solid on the table with this particular person and energy because you visualize the future with them. For some of you, you guys were already married to each other, committed to each other, or you guys were living together with each other, or might be you, you had a family together, like babies together, or whatever is applicable in your case. So you want to let go of the ego, you want to let go of the fights and the drama and the manipulations and mind games or whatever you call it, and you want to have something very beautiful and stable on the table with this particular person. And you definitely want to let go of the drama, the fights and the issues and the not so good energies out of the situation. Hmm. Let's see what's coming towards you till the 19th of May in this situation. Let's see the possible outcome of the situation between you and this particular person or energy. Seven of Pentacles. I do see this situation moving forward very very slowly it will be like uh, a seedling will start giving you a little bit of plant like leaves will start coming okay so some kind of positive results in this direction will start showing off let me clarify the seven of pentacles slowly but surely it's not going to be like yeah they are going to be like chasing you running behind you or uh, you guys are going to be like uh, let me clarify the seven of pentacles <laughs> someone is going to tell you that they don't want to be in this commitment kind of energy they don't want to be in this uh, relationship kind of energy for long term for uh, like a, for a happily ever after kind of a deal or for marriage kind of a deal but i think slowly but surely they're heading towards that only if this is making any sense so one of you is going to deny the fact that i want to get married to you i want to get committed to you or i want a happily ever after kind of energy with you but they're kind of heading towards that direction only slowly but surely this connection is heading towards something very meaningful something very committed something very deep even if you guys are not able to see that right now uh one of you is straight away going to deny the fact that uh, that you want to be in that direction want to go in that direction uh even in the coming future but this situation slowly but surely is heading towards a commitment kind of a energy even if one of you is going to deny the fact like nope not at all zero percent like possibility as of now this is heading towards so if you're going to be patient with the situation and if there's a possibility that you guys can be together again in that way there are, there are high chances that this situation is slowly but surely going to go towards commitment and or marriage in the coming future so as of now slow and steady progress is there in this situation which is going to lead to this energy of okay we are together but we don't know about the future kind of a deal this is the outcome hmm? so right now you guys are going to be connected to each other but uh, independently working on your individual lives as well so like staying connected to each other energetically and uh, time to time talking with each other or hanging out with each other but nothing more than that kind of a deal 
but slowly but surely this has the potential to become something very stable okay let's see the guidance for you guys in the situation Aries from the universe we have the page of cups and the knight of cups and the five of pentacles okay so honey if you are going to feel like you don't deserve love or you don't deserve a certain kind of love or you always fail in connections you always fail in relationships it is your limiting belief that is creating this kind of energies in your 3d world that you don't deserve love or you don't deserve a certain kind of love or you don't deserve a certain kind of relationship in your life this is just your limiting belief you have to work on this you have to come out of this victim mode self pity mode this mode of i always fail in love you have to come out of this mode uh, so that you can attract the kind of love the kind of relationship the kind of wish fulfillment in that direction that you're looking forward to have right so work on your limiting belief regarding love and relationship area and slowly but surely you will be able to attract uh, that kind of relationship that kind of connection towards you that you deserve or desire for right so first of all you have to believe that you deserve love that you are love and that you deserve a very good relationship first of all you have to believe this and you have to remove this limiting belief out of your system that you don't deserve it or you don't uh, uh, have the power to like manifest this so work on that right so that you can manifest that kind of energy in your life in your 3d world so yeah so thank you so much for tuning in aries i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste